Beaver Stadium in University Park, Pennsylvania. And on game days, it becomes the third biggest city in the states. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle right around the 26 yard line. That's a deal. That brings us second and nine. Tackle made at the 22 yard line. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. It's third and 13. Ball on the 22. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. got stood up right there. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 45. Level at the 38 yard line. Loss of seven yards on the way. From their own 38 yard line, it's third down. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that drive. Cotton is back to receive. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Nittany Lions really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They go right and he's tackled behind the line. Well, that's a big-time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Let's go, 
He's at midfield. At the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Penn State! And he tacks on the extra point. They're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Penn State's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time, but let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. the call again. Good outside run there. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. job by the return man there and offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive this offensive line really opened up some big caps for the running back last time and he's taken down right around the 44 yard line he holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Nice tackle there from the freshman coming down from his position at safety and making a solid tackle on the ball carrier. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Flips it middle to the running back. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage. And they took advantage of it. Penn State is up by a touchdown. And he just gets rid of it. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Slings it out there incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Penn State's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. On the ground, right side. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on a carry. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop at the 30. Johnson's in the tackle at the 30 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Now he tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. He decides to run with it. 
And down he goes at the 44-yard line. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. After one, this game's still pretty close. 7-0, Penn State. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a team of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Gain of two. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Tackle at the 17. Great job by the cover guys getting downfield to really limit the return to next to nothing. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Brought down to the 35-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Quick throw, tackle at about the 23-yard line. Penn State up seven points. Slings it. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 82-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. He sends this one deep, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Out of the open, and he is drilled at the 32-yard line. Johnson takes the tackle at the 32-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 46. That's a gain of 14 yards on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. He's in trouble. They bring the quarterback down.
This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. That'll bring up second and 11. Throws it away. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 19. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's tackled in the open field. Call it a gain of nine yards. That'll make it fourth and two. Cotton back deep to return. Room around the corner. What a collision. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. First down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he hits him hard at the 37. Way with the tackle. The 37 yard line. Third down. And they get nice yardage on that run. First down. The defender had it and then dropped it. You know, these defensive linemen work so hard to get to the quarterback to have a chance to sack him, let alone have a chance to get an interception. This quarterback's got to be taking a big breath there because he just got away with it. Makes it to the 24. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. This is the eighth play of this drive. And off, and he's met immediately. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job of the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown, Idaho! He splits the uprights with the extra point. Idaho, ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, across the 30, brought down at the 35. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He scrambled. Diving for extra yardage. 
He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. That was a laser across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 44. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 44-yard line, first down. Penn State is up seven. Caught with room to work. He's taken down right around the 40. That makes it seven and six. So at the end of the half, Penn State leads 14-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Red Nest, Idaho. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Brown fields it at the one. At the 30. The 50. Inside the 30 for the 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. When a guy like this gets into the open field, it's pretty much game over if you're trying to catch him. He kind of had that feeling he was going to do something big today, and that's exactly what he did right there. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball, I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. Penn State's built on their halftime lead here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, I think they've done a really good job of finding some matchups to their advantage, and they've just gone after this defense, and it's allowed them to put up some points on the board. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let's go! Out of bounds, around the 40-yard line. Complete. He's got room to work. 
And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. Gets out to around the 32. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Got a man. Watch out here. Shows some moves, and he's in. We'll take another look at the play here. And I'll be honest, I couldn't tell if he made the catch or not. And from our angle, it was really hard to tell. I think this one could go either way. So the officials are going to take a look at some of the replay angles. And what they're looking for is whether or not the ball touched the ground before he had possession. After review of the play, the rule on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Handoff to the right. Tackled after a decent pickup. Here he goes. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Grabs it and hammered right there. back and he shoved out of bounds at about the 47 yard line Albert gets it on the inside gets to about the 47 yard line and the halfback's got nowhere to go Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He's at midfield. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. They make the stop at about the 37-yard line. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. 
and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Steps out at the 24-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a at the seventh. Play gets the call. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That brings him six in the Touchdown, Nittany Lions. I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time, it worked to perfection. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11-play, 80-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Nittany Lions continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And a quick throw. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Third down and six yards to go. Ball in the 29. He's under pressure, and they get the sack. One quarter to go, and we may be looking at some mop-up duty. Penn State's got a huge lead. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. made at the 46. The Nittany Lions have been about as impressive as you can be in a football game. Wow, this is as good as it gets. The defense is playing great. The offense has done their job. We've got a blowout here. Early in the fourth quarter here, and obviously we've got a blowout. One team trying to play for pride, and the other one just trying to get out of here. Penn State looking to put this game away if they score here. Tackle made at the 41. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. 14, watch 14. And they hit him in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. It and he's hit hard immediately. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 31. What's the curl? What's the curl? What's the curl? Hey, check, check back the ladder. Check back the ladder. Five. 
Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Watson's the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. Five wide. Quick pass. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. First down. Looks to his receiver, first down. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's in trouble. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He's scrambling. That's a great tackle. It's the 39 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Less than three minutes in the game. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 38. From the 38 yard line. It's second down. He's on the run. He's at the 30, and he hits him hard at the 27. First down. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. There's a fumble. It's picked up by the defense. And he is drilled at the 19. What was most impressive is how he followed the play, and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Oklahoma! Gets out to around the 28. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They come out in a five wide set. Gets out to about the 31. We have less than a minute to go. He's to the 40. He can't get him, and he's still going. He scores. What a play. Well, there's a touchdown that we really don't care about. This game is still well out of reach.
and he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. He's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. And he's tackled at the 44. Well, some backups got some playing time today, that's for sure. It's final. Penn State, 42. Idaho, 7. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.